Okay, so this is the back plate off of the motor, and it used to have this bushing in it, which is what was grinding and making all that awful sound uh, when the motor was spinning. So we had the machine shop press this out and press in a needle bearing just as kind of a temporary um, fix hoping that it was going to be the right size because it looked very close to being the right size but it didn't fit um, so our plan we're going to go straight to plan B which is getting an actual sealed thrust bearing machined into the back of this plate and get this shaft machined so that it fits on there and it will take the load from the prop shaft pushing on the motor so uh, first I need to get this fan off so that I can get the rest of the motor. As we dig deeper and deeper into our big motor experiment, it was time to make some serious decisions. In order to get a bearing installed, we had to bring the motor armature to the machine shop, which means it was time to take it apart. Our first attempt on the fan side failed, so we decided to try from the other end. After many failed attempts to get the puller on correctly, we discovered that this little tool has a hole specifically designed just for that. Yeah, we're so smart. Our motor is a brush DC motor. It is classified as a CPEX motor, which means the field and armature's magnetic coils are controlled separately. This allows for easy adjustments of the motor's speed and torque. It is also built incredibly robust and quite easy to service. With the motor finally in pieces, it was time to send the armature shaft to the machine shop to get that bearing installed. By the way, not many people can put half of their motor in a backpack. And thanks to our friendly neighbor Fen, who let us borrow his scooter, taking it over there was much easier. It took a couple of days before the shaft and bearing were ready for pickup. So in the meantime, we had plenty of other projects to keep us occupied. So, um, this used to be where our fuel tank was. And it is the exact right size to put in our batteries. So our batteries are going to sit right here where our fuel tank used to be. I just need to make it about two inches longer. For now, we're installing only six batteries to run all the electronic on board, including the motor. But once we test how much power we can actually generate, then we may be able to install a larger bank. We're designing our systems based on what we can generate, not what we think we might consume. It was now time to get all that power from the batteries to the motor.
also made a temporary engine control panel out of some PVC board. Great stuff. With the final wires installed, we were able to test the whole system for the first time. If it's in 4, see how that's positive 12 volts? Switch it to negative, or switch it to reverse, and that should be negative. Alright. Yeah, now it's negative. So that contact is working. Four 12 volt lights wired in series gave us a 48 foot load we used to make sure the motor controller was working properly. So that was a very successful first test. Everything worked exactly how we wanted it to. Uh, the engine control panel works, the contactors all work, the engine controller works. So now what we have to do is install the engine and then we'll be able to test it. Yay! I'm excited. I'm excited to get out of this like tiny hole that I've been crawled into for the past two days. Three days. About a week later, our friend Bradley stopped for a visit. The next morning, he offered us a ride back to the machine shop. Everything looked good, and we were really satisfied with the result. By the way, how awesome is it that we can fit our entire motor in a large plastic bin? So we came back motivated and overly excited to get this baby up and running. Uh, so we're cleaning up the motor today because it's old and it's probably never been properly overhauled. So uh, this part right here is where the brushes, the carbon brushes. Touch the motor, so when they say it's a brushed motor, they're talking about these things. And you can see how like corroded and bumpy and non-smooth they are, and the bottom edges of these two. So I am sanding it down with some 400 grit sandpaper to get it all nice and smooth again. And then I'll also be sanding down the brushes to make sure that the contact surfaces on those are nice and smooth again. And they're very soft, it doesn't take much, it doesn't take much to sand it down at all. You can see it's a lot smoother than it was. So now when that rides on, our nice and shiny new armor. shiny motor contact, it will theoretically make a better electrical connection than it did before. Uh, this is a little trick that I've picked up. Use coffee filters for sort of a cleaning cloth. They don't leave any residue or uh, lint behind. And so we've got some denatured alcohol. I'm using that to kind of clean any of the crud and grease out of this part of the motor because we're going to paint it to prevent corrosion in the future. It's kind of the only raw metal on the motor. So we're going to dust it with a light coat of paint, but as you can see, I've got a lot more cleaning to do. We decided to paint the exposed metal on the inside of the motor in hopes to prevent any future corrosion. When it was dry, it looked pretty cool. Some sort of retro style skyscraper.
And after all the pieces were back into the appropriate places, it was time for testing. Goes on. Bolts come up. Forward. We can't wait to make all the necessary arrangements and finally get out and test it around the marina. And, of course, we will share all of it with you. But before all that, we had a plane to catch. We flew to Haiti for two weeks. We always enjoy spending time with the family. And we were really happy to be there for Christmas and for my brother's wedding. We had a blast, but within a blink of an eye, it was time to head back home and back to work on our boat. Looking back, Johnny always was a mansion. To me, I give a whole bunch of tension. We are so excited to share with you our next step. But until then, cheers! Girl, you're my angel. You're my darling angel. Girl, you're my friend when I'm in need. Lady, Johnny, you're my angel. You're my darling Closer than my peeps you want to me, lady. <laughs> Your queen and that's how you should be treated. I know you never got the love that you needed. Couldn't have an alcohol than you hated. Big and now bleeding, mission completed. Noted high and high is the problem Not the time to mess around with your emotions But the feeling that I have for you is so strong Been together so long, this could never be wrong Girl, you're my angel, you're my darling angel You're my friend when I'm in need You're my angel, you're my darling Closer than my peeps you are to me, lady.